Hotel Hell. Attack at luxury hotel in Libya reveals false flag event. This is an article written by Sean Helton, published on 21st Century Wire. A luxury hotel has been stormed by gunmen in Libya's capital, Tripoli, earlier today, killing at least nine people. As reports are pouring in from the scene, we've been told that the shooting attack on the Corinthia Hotel was accompanied by a car bombing and that the Tripoli branch of ISIS claimed responsibility. Now here we go, folks. All this is according to Sight Intelligence Group. I've done several videos on Sight. And I just done one, uh, my last video was about the uh, translation, uh, Israeli translation group that uh, translates everything the way they want it to sound. According to Sight, an offshoot new terror brand called Tripoli Province had claimed credit for the attacks. Here's a photograph with the great big site watermark up there. They got it. They got the photos. They got the information. Everything before anybody else could. Image. Intel Terror. Site is there to capture the action in Libya. The perfect stage was set as the Corinthia Hotel was largely empty as the ISIS-linked group apparently could take their time choreographing the attack as pictured below. Look like a bunch of paparazzi over there. One, two, three, four, five cameramen on that side. And then the one taking this picture, six. Look at that. A whole audience of cameramen. You got to be suspect of anything that's got that site watermark and logo on it. As we've noted multiple times here at 21st Century Wire, the intelligence monitoring group site intelligence linked to both the CIA and Israeli intelligence and has been caught being the first to release ISIS related material before the black clad terror troop had released its own exploits on social media. As mentioned here on this special report published back in September. Of course, as if by magic, CIA and Israeli intelligence linked media outlet site is first on the scene. Here's Rita Katz doing a CNN interview. Site founder, Israeli operative, Rita Katz, who admits, we had that video beforehand and were able to beat them with the release. Notice how convenient it was that the intelligence group acquired the ISIS videos. Before even ISIS, the alleged brutal beheadings were used by Western media to sway public opinion preemptively prepping the public for future Western-backed war theater. As we've also said before, Sight appears to have some sort of exclusive pipeline with all the main cartoon terrorist outfits, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab, and now ISIS. Sight and its sister organization at Intel Center, and there's a brand new one that's popped up. I'm going to do a video a little bit later. Uh, and show you who that is and who the person is running it. Uh, the Intel Center have both been repeatedly accused of and caught distributing completely fake Al-Qaeda videos as each incident appeared to be synchronized perfectly with various foreign policy announcements and election dates while serving Western political machinations. I'll leave links. This has been Unraveling the Matrix. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.